Hi guys, what's up? It's Lindsay and today we are styling outfits based off inspiration photos that I have screenshotted on Pinterest and Instagram. I'm very fond of doing that and then just forgetting about them. So today we're going through those files and seeing what I can put together using similar pieces from my wardrobe, not going out of my way to buy anything new because I wanted this to be realistic and I think it's a really great way to kind of spark new inspiration for old people pieces so I hope you guys enjoy it and without further ado let's dive right in. The first outfit I saved is this really casual look with track shorts and loafers. I loved the combination of something so casual like track shorts and a white t-shirt with loafers which are much more put together and this is my rendition of wearing green sweat shorts. That's as close as I have to like a running or track short and then I threw on this knit bag just because it feels a little bit more summery to me and I am really surprised. I love this look and I never would have put it together and I really want to try out the actual track short look but I think these little sweat shorts look really cute and I've seen a lot of looks like this with like a striped linen boxer short and I think that would also be just really nice and easy going for summer and definitely some things I'm looking to thrift the next time I'm at a flea market. This next outfit I was so inspired by because it's taking something really frilly and lacy and pairing it with something super relaxed. Oversized overalls and Boston Birkenstock clogs, which I happen to have. So I'm wearing those with my Levi's overalls and this really lacy, dainty puff sleeve top, which isn't long sleeve, but it definitely still has similar energy to the outfit pictured and it's not something I have ever paired together before. I probably would have gone for more of a pointed cowboy boot than the Boston's just because this top is so nice. I just feel like it needs to be dressed up. I always wear these clogs and these overalls with like t-shirts and tank tops. So it's definitely an interesting direction. And I, I do really love like the effortlessness of it. I just don't know if I'd wear it again. You can let me know what you think. This next photo or outfit is truly ruling my Pinterest. Every time I go on, I either see this photo or ones like it wearing the exact same thing. And I tried my best to recreate it. My skirt isn't quite as sheer and I feel like my monster truck tee might be a little bit too colorful but I do think it's a really cute outfit. It's just so funny when a specific look goes so, so viral. So I thought I would try it out like this, but I also have a black t-shirt because I just feel like that's more how I personally would style it. I also think the more oversized shirt, the better in this case for these outfits because you do want your butt covered since the skirt is sheer, but I understand why this outfit formula is like kind of going viral. It looks really cute, really effortless and so comfortable. Like there's no material clinging to my body and I kind of love that. With this next look, I definitely exercised some creative freedom by going for a Mary Jane instead of a loafer and this long sleeve sweater instead of a sweater vest. But the colors and the idea is still there, which is wearing a sweater with little shorts. And I feel like that's really the perfect spring outfit because it's kind of cold, it's kind of warm out. It's just like weird. And I could definitely wear this outside. These glasses are polarized, so like when I move my eyes, I can't see the lens. Anyways, we're recording. And I really love the Mary Janes with this outfit. I think it would have obviously looked cute with the loafers or even my fry boots. I feel like I wear those just with every outfit. So I've been trying not to wear them too much, but these Mary Janes have become like one of my favorite shoes lately, just because they're casual, comfortable, but also kind of like dainty and feminine. I've also been seeing a lot of blue Oxford shirts and I love wearing these in the summer, but I really like this specific styling. So I thought I would do something similar with my white sweatshorts again and my loafers and a brown bag. And I've worn stuff similar to this, but never before with the sweatshorts. And I really like it. I know it's similar to the last outfit and not, not too groundbreaking, but it's realistic. And I feel like that's the main thing I try and focus on is outfits that I would wear in everyday life and that are 
things that you can just wake up and put on, you don't have to like put a ton of effort into and that you feel comfortable in. This photo is actually what inspired me to go out of my way and thrift a white short coat a couple months ago, yet I haven't even tried recreating it. So I was really excited when I put this on and it looked exactly how I wanted it to. I think it looks so cute and so similar, but also different. I have mostly just been wearing this short coat open on top of like all of my outfits. I really am glad I got it, but I've never tried wearing it fully buttoned up and with a boot. And I think that looks just so different, so interesting. And I also went for denim shorts instead of a denim skirt because that's just what I have. But I think a little black Black mini skirt would also look pretty cute here and I just I'm so glad I have this piece it's so random but something I've been obsessed with I saw this photo on the brand Donnie's Instagram page with their linen breezy pants and a ruffled blouse and I just ran to recreate it immediately because I just got these flowy linen pants at a sample sale and I love a ruffled blouse so I have a couple actually and I think these were pretty much made for each other and to truly bring home the vacation energy I am wearing these flip flops kitten heels that have a mother of pearl flower on top they're like tacky but in that like really charming cute way and i'm in love with them so had to wear them and this last outfit is something i love a matching black two-piece but the addition of a woven bag flip-flops and the belt were just like an accessory combo i needed to try and it just takes this to a completely different place i rarely rarely wear this belt and I think I need to wear it more. I really like this together. I will definitely be wearing this outfit and many of the others over on TikTok and Instagram if you don't already follow me. Now to talk a little bit about our sponsor today, which is Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can create a beautiful online presence and run your business. I've been using Squarespace to host my website, lindsayrem.com, since I was in college. And at first I used it as a portfolio site to help me get jobs as a graphic designer. And now I use it to showcase my social media work. They have thousands of templates to choose from that are all completely customizable to your needs. I feel like every year I go through a redesign and it just makes it super easy. You can even get custom domains through Squarespace. So I have lindsayrem.com and that just really takes your branding to the next level. Squarespace also has amazing blogging features if you are looking to start a blog. They have threaded comments, likes, and replies, and you can connect your social media to your website. So anytime you post a blog post, it will automatically push to the social media sites you want and your social media posts can be visible from your website as well. Squarespace also gives you access to powerful analytics tools that make a really big difference as a creator. You can learn more about your page views, traffic sources, audience geography, and more. If you're interested in creating a website with Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com slash lindsayrem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain, or just use the code lindsayrem at checkout. Thank you so much for watching today's video, and I will see you guys later.